So, Hassan Piker is not having a very good day. Apparently, he had a meltdown on Discord and people are sharing this. It got 5.4 million views. Probably more views than his streams are getting right now. Uh, and he's basically saying that he's sad. Um, I think the streams are banger, but people just don't see them. We used to be a community. I hate when my, what my community is becoming. I swear Twitch streamers isn't about the actual content. It's about whether people want to pay attention to you or not and clout. And all that shit was a banger and 30,000 people watch. Like, I, I'm fucking gaming at 8 p.m. I'm done. I hate this job. I'm not streaming today. And, and then he says something that I can't say. Um, you know, the algorithm that doesn't let you say it, even if it's said as a joke. Uh, he basically says that, uh, how, how do the young kids say it? Because, like, the young kids have developed new language to bypass the, the internet. Uh, unalive. Yeah, unalive is what they're saying. Um, but, but here's the thing. I, I was genuinely curious, like, what, what's going on? And many people in the comment section, they're saying, oh, uh, bro thinks, uh, silently watching YouTube videos for six hours while somehow eating chicken and rice the entire time is banger content. Other people are showing the empty chair, right? Um, I, I don't think this is helpful. I, I do not think that this is how you can figure out what's going on when the viewers are dropping because like this is something that he has been doing since the beginning right so like since the beginning he, he had the same content that people like and, and it is indeed difficult to judge uh why isn't his content working when you don't really like his content so so if you're not a socialist you're not a left-leaning person obviously you're not going to watch a left-leaning individual right so, so you're going to assume oh well it's it's because the content isn't good enough uh, no, the content clearly was good enough to the point that he did have a significant following, right? But but all of a sudden, that following tuned out, um, and, and the question is why, right? Like, he didn't say anything controversial. He, he wasn't like Vosh being caught with um, a, a stream malfunction, let's put it like this. So, so what exactly happened? Um, th th there can be several things, right? Uh, one of them could be explained by a shift in culture. It's simply the fact that, um, you know, like, like for instance, Gamergate 2.0 is a thing. I, I, I don't know if he talked about it or not. Uh, but, but it's just one example. L like, if there is something that people are interested in, and you don't cover it, then they will go for other people that do cover it. And if those other people have, like, a different segment or, or a show that captivates them, and, and, and that's easy for them to do simply by having something different, by having something new... Uh, you're losing audience, right? So, like, if, if there's an important thing, and obviously, like, Gamergate 2.0 uh, was trending on Twitter for several weeks in a row. Like, it, it was a, an important event. By refusing to talk about it or, or to address it, and if you do address it, if you don't address it in a way that your audience wants, right? Because you're a left-leaning person, so obviously you have left-leaning individuals. Um, <clears throat> and, and by the way, like the, the best thing is to be genuine. Like if you're a genuinely left-leaning individual, you are going to attract that audience. So you got to cover it from a left-leaning lens, right? Uh, if you don't do that, you're going to lose subscribers. So, so maybe that, that has an issue. Another issue is with the culture itself, right? Like the grand scheme of things. Uh, if you're promoting an ideology, which usually ends up being the establishment, right? So like in your case, you're, you're advocating for left-leaning politics and the Democrats are in charge and you have a Democrat president. Even if you criticize them whatsoever, um, if people's lives don't significantly improve, like, like if people don't notice that their lives are getting better, then they're going to look for alternatives and they're going to say, well, you know, like maybe this left-leaning ideology, I, I thought that if I, if I vote Democrat, I, life is going to be great. But it turns out it isn't, right? So not every single person has to think like that. But if like 10% of your audience thinks this way, and then they tune out and they go look for other political coverings, um, you're going to lose, right? And, and usually this this can also happen, like like for instance, let's say someone lives uh, in Scat Francisco, right? And there's more scat than usual on the street. There's more crime than usual. There, there's more drugs than usual. Um, and you're not covering that because you're a left-leaning person and you're like thinking, yeah, this this is okay. Like, I, I don't want to cover this because it makes the ideology look bad. I'm going to talk about something else. Well, your audience isn't hypnotized. They're not glued to the, te to, to the computer screen. So they're going to go to other 
people that do cover it. And and they may disagree with the topics, they, but, but like they want someone to at least address the fucking issue. And I noticed that in America, in American politics, right, and it's also on Twitch and other places, they just flat out to ad- refuse to address the issue, right? Like they pretend the issue doesn't exist. They sweep it under the rug. So, so what happens is that the audience just goes to someone else. <laughs> now, there's also the thing with competition. It's like how many other people are doing the same content. Like when it comes to right-wing content, due to the fact that it's very suppressed and it's uh, difficult to find a lot of right-wing creators, even content like myself, which I would consider has like low editing value and, and is not really that amazing. But even content like myself gets views, right? Because I don't have that much of a competition. Meanwhile, if you go on Twitch, almost everyone is left-leaning. And the reason this is, is because the Twitch community has supported this. Like, you wanted this, right? Meanwhile, on YouTube, you had left-leaning people and right-wing people, and they had video responses. They had the back and forth. They they trash-talked with each other. This created engagement, entertainment. People came to see. uh, And it was interesting because you had content creators that started left-wing, that they went right-wing or vice versa, right? On Twitch, you don't get that. On Twitch, everyone is the fucking same. Everyone is promoting the same ideology. Everyone is talking about the same things. Everyone has the same opinions, right? Because the moderation forces people to have the same opinions. So the competition is insane, right? Like like you're not competing with with just a couple of other content creators. Everyone thinks like you. So there's, um, you know, the, the, the newest person may be more interesting. You know, they may be younger. They may be better looking. They, they may find a VTuber or, or some chick that has your politics and they might like watching a pair of tits that talks about socialism rather than watching Hassan. Again, that, that's Twitch. What can you do? You know, you, you, you encourage the culture of safetyism, which doesn't allow you much wiggle room. So there you go. Now, if everyone has the same narrow space, then the competition is insane. Uh, now, finally, I, I do understand that uh, Hassan has been more extremist in his views um lately he has been more of a tanky i've been told uh and obviously you know like if if you become unpalatable for the general public like if you have some takes that are so extreme even for leftists then people are going to tune out you know i I guess like the culture of safetyism does allow you to be a little bit more extreme Right? Like, like if you say shit uh, such as, uh, you know, we need to stop having kids in order to protect the environment. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, like uh, as an example, like that's fine. You know, that that's perfectly fine. The, the, the leftism doesn't consider that extremist. Or, or if you say we need to abolish uh, gas stoves, like that's also fine. No, but but if you say we need to secure the border, oh, that's extremist content. That's not. So, uh, you know, like, like you, you are allowed to go more to the left and more to the left. But, but the thing is, just because you're allowed doesn't mean that the audience wants to follow. And, and Hassan, if I'm not mistaken, had an actual uh, terrorist on his stream, didn't he? Like uh, a Houthi, I think. Eh? I, I've been told. I, I don't know. Like, what, did he have it? Like, if he had it, then, yeah, that would also make sense. Like, like, you know, again, like, just because you believe those things and you are genuine, that's fine. Uh, however, that doesn't mean that your audience needs to believe them either, you know? So, so if you're going to start covering things that are antagonistic to your audience, you're going to lose viewers, which, again, it's fine. Like, if you're genuine, be genuine. But, like, don't be surprised that people don't agree with you because, believe it or not, I like what the journalists say. People do have free will. Like, they're not, they're not glued to the seat in order to see you. Uh, now, now, finally, the, the reason that this is even happening I think, like, why Hassan is upset, because let, let's be honest, like, his viewership is still enough that a lot of people would want to be in his shoes. Like, like it, it's still gaining, like, a lot of views to, to live a comfortable lifestyle. The problem is that he didn't live the socialist mindset, which is sharing and caring, right? Like, he, he doesn't uh, live in a humble apartment in order to make sure that he doesn't live in a big place so, so he doesn't pollute. Uh, he's got a lot of cars, right? He's got a lot of taxes to pay. So uh, this, this is why he is actually scared. It's because he is living a lifestyle that is not how the left likes to say sustainable, right? Like, like it's only sustainable as long as he keeps getting the same number of views on Twitch. But if it doesn't, then he is going to end up in a pickle. And, and this is the final thing that I wanted to say. It is expected. 
right? Like, uh, if you look at famous people on television, they do not last for more than 10 years. Like, that is very rare that you see, like, someone on TV lasting for, for longer. And it's the same with us content creators. Like, I'm, I'm also worried, you know, like, one day I'm going to tune in and there's going to be very little viewers. But it's natural. It's expected. You know, people get old. People die. The, the new generation is into TikTok and shorts and... You know, if you don't do that, it's hard to get new audience, but it is what it is. You, you got to accept the fact that, you know, you're kind of like a football player. Like, while you're young, you, you get uh, to, to be famous, and you get, but then as you go old, you can't play anymore, so you need to think about retiring and, and what you're going to do then. So anyway, right, I, I found that uh, I was uh, giving some constructive criticism. Do, do you think I managed to construct, Hassan? Uh, right-wingers construct, you know, left-wingers deconstruct, so... We'll see if someone tries to deconstruct what I said. Uh, would be interesting. But uh, let me know what you think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.